Hello Aries. Aries, for the upcoming week, the week beginning the 4th of March, let's do an energy check to see what is coming into, into your collective. We'll do a pull for you and then I'll do a pull on your environment. We'll add an additional energy and just get a, a little highlight of some themes, some energetic themes that is around your collective areas. Let's take a look. So I'm going to shuffle this a few more times. and we'll start this is you Prince of Pentacles three of swords six of cups the Sun the world five of cups so I'm going to do your environment and then I'll get into it I need a little more space <laughs> one moment that over here. Okay. Do one column for your environment. Four of Wands. Prince of Cups. Judgment. The Empress. Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands. Okay. So I'm going to add. Let's put my cards over here. <laughs> and let me shuffle my secondary energies a little bit to complement the first letters we have out here. And then I'll get into it. Eight of Cups to our Prince of Pentacles. Ten of Cups to our Three of Swords. The Sun gets Strength. Five of Cups wanted to get the Devil and Ten of Wands, so we'll take both. Six of Cups gets two of Cups. The World gets six of Cups. Four of Wands to our Nine of Pentacles. Judgment to Five of Cups. Six 
seven of wands to our six of wands. Prince of Cups gets the lovers. Empress gets justice and nine of wands. Ace of Swords. Let me just see if there's anything more I want to clarify here. Let's see. I'm going to put one more energy on Empress and Justice over here. The Magician. Put one more on Five of Cups. These two wanted to come out. Four of Wands and King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles gets King of Swords. Let's see. So Aries, get one more on my prince. So Aries, I'm seeing, I do see that you have some offers coming into your energy. I see more specifically some changes of the people you have around you. I think that's a bigger theme for this week. I'm going to start with the cautions or just sort of the, I don't see them as negatives. Well, maybe there's one thing that I do see as a negative. I'm going to start off with that. And we'll bring up this message of caution. In your own environment, your own energy, five of cups with 10 of wands and the devil. Aries, has there been or will there be something that you already put a lot of work into and I think, and I think because we have a five of cups twice, we also have it in your environment, oh, excuse me, here with, the, with judgment and five of cups. I think though for your own personal energy for the Five of Cups to be here, this is telling me that you've been putting work into a situation that is not worth it. And you realize that. With the Devil card here and the Five of Cups, it's like you're still putting work into it or you have the tendency to feel like you have to put work into a situation that definitely doesn't serve you, Aries. But you'll feel you have to. And this is a caution. I really think that with this message, you have an equally on the flip side, strong positive message of the sun and strength in your energy, Aries. And I see this as having the faith in what you believe, what you perceive. If you know a situation, despite how much work you put into it, is never going to work out or work out in the way that you want, let it go. And I think you already... You, you recognize this. We see that from this energy pull itself. This is going to be a situation, Aries, that it serves you best to disconnect from. I do think with 
this energy, this energy that you yourself have, or at least some of you in the collective have laboring towards a fruitless endeavor, a fruitless issue. I think all the signs are also there because they're also in your environment. Judgment, Five of Cups. I have King of Pentacles. Put it over there. I have King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Swords. There is something that you know is wrong. You, and I feel it's going to be relating to, now this could be your home, this could be your environment, your office environment. I just feel something general in your environment. Could be business. Four of swords, excuse me, four, uh, um, four of wands gets two of wands as a clarifier. It's very well could be relating to business. It also could be relating if you are, you know, if your business and home life are, to, are connected, if you work at home, if you run your own business, Aries. Either way, there's something that you've been laboring towards. It does I feel support the overall foundation of your life so whether that is a job whether that's a job that you yourself you know you're the principal of could be your home but I think you know that there is something you're going to come to a realization something that you've been laboring towards Something that you thought could even be that you still believe is worth it because it's integral to your foundation. I think you're going to have to take a step back, Aries, and look at how it serves you because this is telling me that you know the work that you've been putting into a situation it's not getting you anywhere and it's bringing you into this really low vibration this is a caution so take that as it resonates just keep it in mind i will also say that i have one more energy pull in your in your energy column aries and it's the same message Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords. There is something about, I feel for some of you, your home environment that you've been laboring towards. You feel like you have to, but it's really something painful here it's bringing you down to low vibration you're putting a whole lot of effort into it I can definitely tell that you're putting a whole lot of effort because you believe in it but you need to definitely change your mindset think change your actions take a step back you know these are general reads so without a personal reading we can't go further into what these issues may be and ways of possible remediation or at least knowing the energies around them, right? But what I can tell from here on the general level is there is something that you believe in at a core that you've been laboring towards but you are not getting anywhere with your effort. So that is the message overall on the cautions is if you've been laboring towards something 
relating to your foundation could be your family could be work at home job or you know your if you're a principal of your own company could be your family itself could be your house itself like structural issues I mean that very well could be it too maybe also too it could be moving like maybe you've been struggling too long in one spot areas and for the opportunities and where you want to go what you want to do you need to leave the area that you're in and the reason why I say that is because in your own personal energy I do have Prince of Pentacles page of pentacles and eight of cups I do wonder if the disappointment that I have here twice in your overall energy if there's also something about maybe just moving could moving be better for you I don't know how far. I don't know if it's just a well you definitely need a mind, you know, to change change your own mindset. If you feel yourself in the low vibrations of grief, feeling trapped, disappointment, lots of pain in the heart, then you definitely need to go and take a step back change your visual perception but maybe you also need to change your actual location and I feel like something is generating here Aries that could allow you to do that on a large scale I feel like with these energies especially Prince of Pentacles this is slow and generating maybe the whole thing is right now to have the thought would another area serve you better, Aries? I think also on the short term, a message here as well is if it's conducive in your area, maybe going outside. Maybe networking. Small trips, right? on the subject of networking Aries I'm seeing you yourself there's a solid foundation that I have here I have this message twice actually seven of wands here with six of wands you know very good form to get out there very impressive you know you're in your impressive form to go out and meet people I think also too to get a, get your objectives done and I have that same sort of similar energy here energetically four of wands with nine of Pentacles at your core level at your individual level areas your energy is very strong the energy of yourself where you go just within your own footprints as you create them you're very strong in your presence for this week that's what I'm seeing I also see I do see meetings I see first of all in your overall environment I could pull an extra card on this page of cups to see if we're actually talking about romantic interest here I kind of feel with the other cards I have six of cups twice here I also have two of cups here in your energy I have Empress energy overall in your your pull 
You're very attractive in general. I feel very magnetic. So therefore, with the other energies that are here, I will say that I do feel that this just doesn't speak to love, but relationships in general, even though we have Prince of Cups and the Lovers. I clarified the Lovers. I have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I think just in general, Aries, overall, people are intrigued by you. Feel very invigor invigorated, very invigorated by your presence. I do, as I said before, I think that this is an excellent week for you to get out there and meet people and see where it goes. As I see here these energies as new. Whether that's love, whether that's friendship, I think that's up to you, Aries. How far do you want to take it? Either way, no lack of socialization for you for this upcoming week. Now, more interestingly, I have the Six of Cups, the Lovers, the Page of Swords. The Six of Cups here has a slightly different meaning than our standard Six of Cups. Can stand for a variety of things. This one's different, though. This one really speaks to being active in the community, having a caring and compassionate nature, being open and friendly, and in that energy, you draw people to you. This is a very active energy. Nothing past about it. This is fresh. I do feel that with these energies here, I think you're perfectly suited to go out again and meet people, make contacts, regardless of how you want those contacts to progress. I feel even with the Page of Swords here, if you wanted to, I mean, I think it's open, friendship, love. work partners, colleagues, expanding your social your your professional network, it's really up to you. It could be anything, all all of them. I do think as well as you get out and meet people, they will go and cycle back to you. And you'll have new relationships to tap into. I will also say here with the world the Tower, Six of Cups. I do see some past people coming back into your energy too. Whatever you thought had run its course, say they want to see if another cycle can begin. If you'll allow that, I think it will shock you. Could be you haven't heard from these people in a very long time. I'm not going to go any further into this, but this is just general energy. I have two more energy pools I did not go into for your environment nine of wands here with ace of swords. Again, in the same energy of the Four of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands, Six of, Pen Six of Wands. Same sort of energy, only while these speak about how your presence and your demeanor and your general presentation of self 
is very intriguing, very appetizing, I would say. Here, it's also like you are very fluid to engage. Not only is your form good as you approach people, Aries, I feel, but your word usage and your behavior, it's all going to be very, very, very charming. I get a lot of charming energy from you. Just by being confident in your presence, I mean, in your own presence, being confident in yourself. And I think you already have that. You do have, as I said, some, there's some issues that for some of you, you have self-doubt. And I do feel like you have been laboring on to task that you will have to come to a decision on how much longer to keep it up. And just those actions being in your aura or dealing with them, they are bringing you down in frequency and vibration. But overall, your natural state is buzzing. Lots of great self-confident energy I'm seeing here, Aries. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. But that's what I see for you. Let me know, Aries, if this resonates. If it does, like or leave a comment. And if you would like to see more content from me, subscribe. To those of you who have already subscribed, thank you. Thank you for helping my channel grow. I will be back with another video soon. I have the daily reads that I do, and I'm also planning on getting some space to start an updated lover um, pull on love for singles. And then I'll break that down by zodiac sign too. So we'll take a look at that too. Anyway, those are the next ones on the agenda. So maybe I'll catch you there. Either way, Aries, I hope you have a beautiful day. And until the next video, bye-bye.